So in here I've got a couple of eggs, I've got about a tablespoon of flour, some sugar, about a teaspoon of sugar, uh, some mustard powder, again about sort of one, one to two of this depending on how strong you like it. I've got some double cream and some malt vinegar. Okay, and then we'll whisk that together and then incorporate the double cream. So what was Alistair Little like to work for? Alistair was, was great to work for, you know, he was, he's known as sort of the godfather of modern British cooking and he was very, quite Italian based. So we used to do a lot of um, sort of British food with an Italian twist on it, uh, some classic Italian recipes and, you know, some English, some beautiful English recipes like this. And it was at a time when London was kind of booming for food, but um, what Alistair's strength was, everything was super fresh, you know, the herbs were grabbed from the fridge and chopped and thrown on the pasta just before it went and all that sort of thing excited me, you know? It was great ingredients, beautifully simply put together and it was just honest food. So this will be on the heat, nice low simmer for about sort of 20 minutes or so, but you can see it thickening now. And that's the kind of consistency you want when that flour working with the eggs as it thickens. So then cool that down, put it in a little kilner jar or something, and then bung it in the fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour, till it's really cool. So I've just got some nice sort of in-season ingredients here and I'm not going to do too much to these actually, just going to sort of trim them up and uh, make it look tasty and that's the sort of thing, like I said, you can dip in to the salad cream um, and away you go. Right, so a couple of those. So uh, which other famous or well-known chefs did you work for? Um, I worked for... Um, a uh, very famous lady called Sally Clark, um, who taught me all about sort of seasonality, I suppose, and, you know, when to eat fruit at the best times of year, you know, and she was also, she was a stickler for her ingredients. So if it just wasn't beautiful enough, she wouldn't have it in the kitchen. So that sort of pushes her standards up to a certain degree. Um, so I'm very slowly just building up um, this nice salad. I've got the nice sort of various coloured heritage tomatoes. A few spring onions there. Uh, some radishes are always good for salad. So just take the middle out of the cucumber. That's enough of that. Then we'll have some nice floppy lettuce. The, uh, the old-fashioned English sort of hothouse lettuce is always good as well. I think this sort of lettuce has got beautiful, beautiful texture at the, at the base. And the, and a fantastic taste as well. It always reminds me of kind of like summers in Britain, greenhouses. You know that smell you get in a greenhouse as well? I think that's lovely. Right, and some soft boiled eggs. So a couple of those. Right, it's plenty of salt over the tomatoes. That's pull out lots of the, uh, the juices from them. You could put a couple of slithers of garlic on those as well, and that would be lovely. And then a bit of cherry vinegar or red wine vinegar, just over the top. Not too much, but again, that's just going to help all those lovely tomato juices to run out. And if, I'll give that about sort of 10 minutes or so, and then put some really nice olive oil on it, and it's, it's pretty much done. 